Right now, several Columbus City Schools seniors have earned their diplomas. Here's a live look at South High School's graduation happening right now. Such an exciting time, a busy week and weekend with several graduations each day, including Northland High School this Friday. TV's Kiana Dyches explains how one senior is beating the odds. She is now college bound with hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarships. Kiana? Well, Yolanda Andrew, getting this far meant overcoming odds for this senior. She says she grew up in Africa where her family ended up in a refugee camp. Life in the refugee camps was not easy. When Julianne Lacombo started at Northland High School, she was fairly new to the United States. We're originally from Congo. That's where I was born. And due to the ongoing war, we had to move to Uganda as refugees. Her family came to the U.S. in 2015. She spent the first 10 years of her life playing board games in Uganda. She says the transition to high school just four years after that wasn't easy. The first thing I had to overcome was kind of my anxiety. I'm learning how to get out of my comfort zone because that was like a big issue for me at the beginning. Still, she studied hard and got good grades. And then the letters started coming in. I was kind of surprised because I wasn't like keeping count of the amount. Nearly a dozen college acceptances. We hope you and Julian have taken a moment to celebrate this milestone and reflect on the dedication, commitment, and determination to make college a possibility. Earning her a combined $240,000 in scholarships and valedictorian of her senior class. I did not expect it to be this much. To date, Columbus City School seniors in total have earned more than $33 million in scholarship and aid money. As of right now, Northland senior class has earned over $5 million in scholarships. Julianne among the top 40. Her advice to rising seniors, work hard and trust the process. Don't give up in the middle. And Julianne graduates Friday and says she'll be attending the University of Dayton on a full ride. She plans to study computer science and says she wants to become a software developer. Kiana Deitches, 10TV News.